three, two, one, go. Hello, right, watcher, welcome back. Now, I wanna do a little bit more on this. Now, I know I said in the last video that that was the last, that was the last fabrication job on this, but you know, it's like, I think of things as I go along, and it wasn't. Um, I'm gonna do a little something more, and only because you said so. Now, as you know, YouTube's fantastic for people just giving their comments and suggestions, and I absolutely love it. Some of the suggestions are tongue-in-cheek, I understand that, and some of them are constructive. And I always listen, because I don't know everything by a long way, and when I come up with something, it kind of sparks off inspiration in a lot of you, and you'll come up with something as a suggestion for the next step, or for something better. Now, as you know, there's always something better. You can always do better in a job. Um, and it was in this video we did this thing now I quite like that that's nice it's neat it's smart it does the job but one of you now please excuse I can't remember exactly who says each thing because I'm going down through up to 300 comments trying my hardest to answer all of them as best I can and reply to you because I really appreciate your comments and your interest in the project and as I get down there through I don't always remember who said it but definitely one of you said that that looks a bit clumsy now do you know what you're not wrong you're really not wrong. It's, it looks neat, it looks smart, it does the job, and it works, but it does look a bit clumsy, and I know it could be better. Now, what I mean is, some of you said just four, four LED lights. I'm really not going there, I'm not wiring in LEDs. What I want to do is stick with the OEM lighting. I want to stick with the factory lighting, those little rubber plugs with the bolts that just, uh, the bulbs that just push into them. They're great, I love those, because you can buy the bulbs in a petrol station and they just last forever because they're made by the factory. All that aftermarket Chinese LED stuff, it's all right, but it really is rather fragile and it doesn't last forever. I've seen it fail years down the line and I want this, because obviously when it's sold, it's gonna be, when it's finished, it's gonna be sold and whoever buys it, I don't want them to have an unreliable bike with the electrics playing up. I just hate that myself and I wouldn't pass it on someone else. So using the factory idiot lights, and the factory wiring and plugs and harnesses is, in my view, the right to go. And it's the build that I'm doing, so effectively it's the choice I've made, and that's cool. So, um, loads of space, whoops, loads of space in the back there, and loads of room for this. But I don't like it. I, I, I like it, but I think it could be better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up with a little something better for this. And one of you said, what about covering it and drilling holes in? A few of you so that you can see these lights only and there's a metal panel I like that a lot I'm gonna see how that works remember that sticks out at an angle slightly so putting a flat piece on there means it's got to be kind of 3d ish so that's a little bit more compound angles and so on also somebody else said a little hood and I quite like that a little hood a little cover and then put some form of tinted acrylic or glass inside because they're really bright so ultimately when there's a little piece of acrylic or even mesh because we're going to put mesh in there really fine mesh that's the decision on that i don't like the idea of acrylic it'll just look like a black button you know press here so it'll be a piece of mesh that will then be sprayed in it'll be airbrushed in with everything else so you won't see it when the light's switched off but that i think i may match that in with the same kind of mesh and then you'll see the lights through it so today i'm going to do something with that so there's a bit of change today, as you can already see, it's a short video. And the reason for that is that I'm actually, I'm actually working today. I'm doing a split shift. I've only got four hours to do this. Now, usually, no, it's normally five or six hours in the garage, and then there's an hour either end prepping and finishing up and getting everything sorted. So in four hours, I've got to be back at work to do the second half of my duty today. So I can't afford to mess about. What I'm going to do instead is, as it's the last one of the month, and this thing is dragging on and it's probably getting a bit boring. I don't want people to go off and get bored and start clicking forward. So I'm just gonna do this quick. I'm just gonna crack on and do the work. Actually focus on the fabrication, just do little clips along the way, show you the upgrades. I really hate, here's one I did earlier, type videos. It's just awful. It's, it robs the viewer of the interest in what's going on. If I wanna see results, I'll just read them in a magazine when the bike's finished. I want you to be involved in this, and you're very much involved in this, but I can't show you the usual video, half an hour, of all the fabricating and cutting and welding because I just haven't got the time. I've got to crack on today, and I want to get that result. What I'm going to do with it, I'm going to try both ways. I'm going to try the little flat plate with the holes in first, see if I can drill them accurately to match those lights so they all line up. That's, again, a task, and then welding it in a top. The other thing is, there's a little bit here this kind of edge, the way this comes up, 
it gets to that lip and then it curls. And that occurred because I bent this in. When I curled this in and flattened that over, it caused this lip to pull down slightly. And yeah, I could take this lip, this top piece here, and I could hammer that down, but I think I would end up distorting that profile quite a lot because this metal at the back end of the tank, remember it's a Harley tank, the back end of that, that is hugely shrunk. It's stretched there, it's shrunk there, a metal that's been horribly messed about with already can react in funny ways when you start beating it into another shape or it can even crack. So I'm gonna be very careful with that. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna fill that with weld and grind it so I'm gonna have a proper edge on it instead. So there's a few jobs, I'm gonna shut up now, crack on because I really haven't got much time. So hope you enjoy this. It's a different format, but it is just a one-off. Most of the videos on this project will be what they usually are, but this today will just be progress and updates along the way. So wish me luck, let's get stuck in. Well, welcome back to the Always Garage. <laughs> Try harder, boy.
Then we go. Where are we? Two o'clock, it's not too bad at all. Three hours this time. And there it is. Actually, let's bring you in closer. Give you a proper look. There you go. Stand you up there. Right, first of all, there it is. And one thing that I'm really happy with is, you remember at the beginning, this lip edge here, it had a curve down where bending the bending in of the metal just hunched it in. Uh, but with filling that with weld, welding along the back of that sheet, so put the sheet metal on the front, plug welded it five or six times round to get it firm and beef, and then welded all the way around the back, just really for filler, to be honest. Um, that's now filled with steel. Ground back, the grinder is your friend, and there it is. And that's not what you want to see. You want to see if it works. Is it a win or a fail? There we go. Now it's a little bit rough because it's just bare steel, so there'll be body work taking place, you know, filler, primer. There's little pinholes, if you'll go real close, let's just get real, here we are, look. These little pinholes there, that's just, you know, where the weld blobs along. Um, I could keep grinding, but the danger is that I don't know how thick the parent metal at the back is. It's only sheet metal, it's only a mill and a half thick. So I'm going to call that quits there, that's good enough. Um, a few of you suggested solder, lead solder for these little things. I might actually play with that, just because I like doing that sort of thing, you know, old school skills. And that might just do the perfect job of filling those little pinholes. But it doesn't matter because it's not getting plated or anything daft. It's going to be painted, so a little bit of filler. Oops. Let's try harder. Anyway, here we are. One of those. Done. But that's no good holding it, waving it about. Let's see how it looks on the bike. Right, quick look, here we go. I do think that looks a lot better. So, thanks to the person who suggested that. You know, great minds think alike, many minds think many thoughts. And I like that a lot. It's a lot better than it was. It's a lot neater. Um, it will, actually they sit, they do sit level. It's just they're not bolted in tight, the bracket's only finger tight. So they'll sit neatly there. Obviously this looks a bit rough again, it'll get painted um, and once the, once you see what we're going to do with the paint scheme you'll see how this will work and fit in quite nicely with a console that's going to come up here. So that is pretty much done so far. I keep saying that but keep coming back to it. But I do like that, I like that a lot. That's a lot better than it was. I like that. That is good. Very happy. And been able to deal with something else that was irritating me, which is that clip, that, that lip on the top, that curve. Much better. I've put a little chamfer in that there as well. So looking at it from the side, I've put a little kind of chamfer in each side. So rather than being flush, they sit out a bit from the angle of the slot. You know what I mean, that. And there we are, quick one, done. All right, liking that a lot. Um, now, Penny and I don't set out to court suggestions on how to do this. By the time you see it on a video, well, it's done. That's the direction we're going in with it. But now and again, in the rain of things that come at us from you, our fantastic viewers and fans and patrons and all that, the stuff that comes at us in suggestions and things, often we'll, we may not even comment, we may not even reply. We just got to get through it all and, and sort of reply to everybody as much as we can. But now and again, a little nugget, a little golden nugget falls in amongst it, something I hadn't thought of, and that was one of them. That is a viewer's suggestion. And again, please, I'm so sorry, sir, I don't remember who you were, but if, please put your hand up at the back if it was you. Covering that with a little dash with four holes in to show the light through is fantastic. I'm not going to cover it with mesh, with gauze, with acrylic, with glass, with nothing. That is just going to be as it is. Four lights showing through a little hole, and when it's painted, it'll look fantastic. The power of YouTube, eh? The power of YouTube, what we can do together. This build is going better than I ever hoped it would be. I set out for this to be kind of rat bike, rat rod type thing. And at the moment, I'm thinking that's going to be an insult to it, to the style, to the creativity that's going into it, and to the work that you're putting through the, through the suggestions box, that sort of thing that's, that's going on to it. There's a good half a dozen things now that have come in from viewers. And that I absolutely love. Please though, don't shower us with it because we are swamped at the moment with messages. Try and keep it real, keep it realistic. We appreciate all your comments. We appreciate all your feedback. 
and that kind of feedback is real feedback that really helps that's proper hardcore stuff so once again thank you for that okay i'm going to call it done now it's uh half an hour before i've got to get changed into shower and get back to work people relying on me so i've got to get that done so i'm going to leave you with the wall of friends and say thank you ever so much for all of your support take it as you ride safe and we'll see you next time <laughs>